We do. I think it's the, probably the first big owl that I've seen since I've been here. It is a spotted eagle owl, which is really, really cool. I haven't seen one for a long time. Uh, we used to see them quite a bit in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. They occur everywhere and even in the cities. And I have to tell you a funny story about a spotted eagle owl. Uh, family friends of ours, and it's sort of like my second home. Uh, they live out on a farm and they have some small dogs. Uh, like sort of One's a sort of a Maltese poodle mix and the other one is a pavement special. And they are lovely dogs, but they're really tiny. And this massive spotted eagle owl sits outside and lives near their house and often comes and terrorizes the dogs at night. Uh, when, the, when they were puppies, they couldn't leave them outside because they were so worried that this owl was going to swoop down and snatch them up, which it would. Any scrub hairs that are around tonight, any, any gerbils that pop out or mice and rats, you better be careful because this owl will be on the prowl and looking for a tasty treat. But a really, really amazing bird. Now, if it does turn towards us again, have a look at its eyes. You'll see it's got beautiful yellow eyes. Can you see that? Now there's another owl called a Cape Eagle Owl, which looks very much the same as a Spotted Eagle Owl, but sadly they're not very common. They're actually quite a special owl to see, and I have not seen one yet, but they've got bright orange eyes. So just a nice way to be able to tell the, the difference. And I always used to th uh, sort of whisper to myself as I was driving around at night in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, going, uh, you know, Cape Eagle Owl, Cape Eagle Owl, hoping uh, that I was going to see one. But sadly, I never got to. But isn't that amazing? I'm trying to think. I have seen a 